onda moraš prema njihovom the whole issue of Kosovo status will not be solved by 10th of December and my personal opinion is that the entire crisis with Kosovo will continue later on and that we are going towards something which we can define as sort of a frozen conflict or frozen crisis which will more or less remind on on what was the status of Taiwan probably the uh, Serbian party will not accept uh, any unilateral uh, declaration of independence of Kosovo, while Albanians are going towards that. Uh, some of the countries in the world will recognize them, some of them will not. Serbia will definitely not accept it, so practically we will find ourselves in a situation which will last much longer than anybody would like. If you ask people whether they would be ready to give up on their life standard, there, there is more than 60% that wouldn't be ready to give up on their life standard. And when you ask people whether they would be ready to go to war and to fight to keep Kosovo within borders of Serbia, more than two-thirds, over 70% of the population would not be ready, ready to, to, to actually accept going to war again to uh, protect Kosovo and keep it within borders of Serbia. 12% would go to war. And we were trying to, to figure out who these 12% are. And those are mostly pensioners and housewives, part of the population that wouldn't go to war anyway. They're, people are not feeling uh, and experiencing any sort of benefits deriving from Serbian approach to the membership in the European Union. And do, this is a powerful message that should be delivered to both um, ruling elite in Serbia, but not only to them, to the European community as well. All those that are in a position to do something about it. The more tangible European Union is, the more tangible European integrations are, the less people would be ready to give up on it in exchange for whatever, and especially in exchange for Kosovo.